And we're walking. Let's go over here. Whoa. No. Why can't you... That door. Go. Because we might have... Spotted something interesting. Huh? Freshly fertilized and aerated. Obviously someone has taken great care to maintain this great Are you... Are you sure? <laughs> No. <laughs> and a disgrace. Wait, hold on. Can I get a Can I get a save in here, ladies and gentlemen? I want to check this. Can I just mess with this all day? So, if I decided to, you know, let's say Dig. All that digging and there's nothing here. Oh, balls. Greetings. Bye. Pet pal. Ugh. I need to get that. Wherever that is. She's your weapon. House of healing, eh? Let's see about this house of healing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. <laughs> Hold on. What does she got? Uh, two handed axe, splitting maul, blade armor, copper ring, head vice skill book. Nothing I currently need that I know of. Uh huh. Healing. This feels like precisely the opposite. I have but one healing stone, you see, and two direly wounded men who need it. I've been racking my brain, trying to figure out the best method to settle this grave situation, but perhaps it's better off in the hands of that as an esteemed soul assaulter. Surely you are more accustomed to weighing life and death than I. Uh, sure. Tell me about Boris. One of the brave few willing to traverse the trade routes plagued by the undead, a young man but excellent in matters of business, before he fell victim to an orcish club in the north. Okay, so the business. The cow trader found him, nearly dead but not quite so, brought him here. And Stephen? Quite the venerable staple of Sysiel Stephen, and recently blessed with his third grandchild. He was leading a crew of builders when a stray beam struck him in the temple, and only a few days shy of his last day of work before retirement, no less. Uh-huh. He gets to die. Nearly everyone is familiar with Grinning Stephen, as you can imagine, he's quite dear to his family. About that. Uh, Loic, in the northern town, he's a certain faith. The Immaculate, they call themselves, that has the belief that certain stones can heal wounded flesh. Nothing if not skeptical. Uh, something happened as he handed me a small cut on my finger. He healed instantly, leaving no trace of wound. wounds to stay. I was astounded. Sure. Oh, God, no. Yep. Pragmatic. Oh, poor bastard. No, thank no, this is oh, highly thank you. Thank you. What is wow, smack! <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> that uh, that didn't go quite as planned. What? Well, hello there. What the hell? Well, the very stars come to die. Who are you? And where have you come from? Uh. That. Are you, are you indeed? And let me tell you, Sir Hunters of the Source, that you have strayed far, far from home. Far in space and far in time. How, I wonder. Uh, that. Could I have been right all along? The stone, what was it? Was it bright and beauteous as a diamond, but did it glow softly deep down in its heart as if it soul dwelled within? Sure. Also, nothing, you punk. 
star of snow and it must for centuries it slept with this bounty of the heavens, but now it's waking and it has brought its awakeners here. All was dark and all was still as it always has been and always would be, or so I thought, so I feared. But then the ruins around me began to shimmer, shine, and dance like fair winged fairies rose from the star stone, blah blah. And you, its wielder, things of light to unlock, things of darkness, blah blah blah. It'd be great if you start making sense. Please, thank you. Uh, okay. Okay. Now I think that imp may be quite, quite mad. Then we'd better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. Okay. So, uh, we'll do that in a sec. Once we... Bottle of beer, bottle of wine. It's in the desk. Not a damn. Wow. This is interesting. So, through the looking glass. Kepa. What? Well, hello there. What's terrifying? Uh -huh. A golden heart, it's a too bad it won't help you even in a little bit when that seemingly an inevitable end comes to swallow you whole. This mob darkness, it consumes time itself. Yes, star stone starter. You have just witnessed the end of all, the maelstrom, maelstrom that, like carrion eaters, devouring the carcass of creation. Space and time have all for meaning, for they are falling prey to the void, and the void there is no existence. Bleak. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And. End the end of time. <laughs> yeah. Zigzags. An imp historian. Tasked by the gods to write the history of all creation. Faithfully have I fulfilled my task. Uh huh. Impossible, I thought. Inconceivable! Uh, inconceivable! That word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Uh, anyway. Da, 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 da. All would end. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. Makes sense. What? <laughs> okay, I get it, kind of. I mean, sort of. Just weird. So long! You first, you first, but don't dilly dally. I really want to hit him. Oh, what strange new world is this? Let us explore. Where on the world are we? We are not on the world at all. Uh, I think he has a point. Party animal. God damn, man. I wish I could talk to animals. Portal. Oh, no. These are portals to things. Oh, no. Whoa. First garden. Oh, I see. It's a person? Well, not person exactly. You get my point. Oh, I don't even know. 
Oh god. Now, I heard about some sort of home base thing. Lord. What? Like what? I don't even know what to think right Ow. I don't even know what to think about this right now. Ah. There we go. Keep moving. And the uh, inactive portal, and probably inactive portal, and a vase! Actually, multiple vases. Vases. Journal updated. Yay. Will you not speak, milady? I long for your stories and your counsel. The Weaver of Time. Last chip. Damn it. From dwarf Legion to Lizard Eve. <laughs> but this w woman simply won't budge. Maybe she just doesn't like the look of a refined impish face like mine. Perhaps she'll have better luck. Please do report. So long! Okay, face. I am the last chest. The last chest. The last chest. What is this, fable? Jesus. If you believe yourself worthy of or oblivion. Eh, I'll show you, Cora. Uh, through my ample treasures, I do dare you to find my four sisters. No more than one in each of the realms of your wide world. And each by each you'll discover how to open me. Oh my god. Well, uh, F5. Like a boss. I am time, the weaver of time. In the ethereal threads of eternity, do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral apparitions, the drift of continents through the changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every teardrop on every world, the all but imperceptible touch of lovers' hands, this and all I chronicle without fault. Except, it seems, you. I'm not featured on the canvas. Wow. It should be an impossibility, but no matter where I look, you cannot be found. Uh-huh. I do not know you, which makes you one of my Im makes you my one perennial imperfection, a blind spot in the eye of time. But for chance I be Wait. Uh, yeah. Oh no, it's one of those you do what you want stories. Oh god. I sat here, the precipice of ages, and watched on as the void frays the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his own creation. Kronos! But suddenly there was you, you who stirred the life within the stones. These stones, children of stars, they place new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerged, and I began to weave anew. Starstone gives me new strands to braid it, blah blah. Please, for the sake of all. Ugh. Who are you really? Yeah, sounds about right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. In itself is the loss, yes, more than most realms can claim, but no. Ugh. Sorry if I'm sighing a lot, but. Ugh, dialogue. I love me some dialogue sometimes, but it just drags on! Screw it, I'm gonna enjoy it.
The plot thickens. We should tell the imp the weaver's tale. Oh, Lord. Travel. Use the homestead travel button on the right side. Aha! That thing. Okay. But curiosity. Curiosity kills the cat here. I gotta go check this out. See if there's any interestingness about it. If I can, let's say, do something. So, can I go to the first garden, or no? Alright, fine. You. Uh... No. North gate? Let's try North gate. Alright, there we go. Cool. Now, where is my pepper? Did it sprout legs and run away? Well oh, then. <laughs> I actually don't know where I am right now. Uh, ah, I see. I s No, I don't. Yeah, oh, aha. From there to there. I'm just on the other side of that grouping. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop it here, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll be back later for more. Bye.